Hi guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming and welcome to tournament number 5 and the Dreadnoughts part of the tournament. We had to postpone it for a week so I apologize for that. But we're here and look at all of the designs that we have for today. Really, really exciting. And <laughs> today I'm even more out of tune with Reassembly because it's been so long since I played it. But it was some really awesome designs here. <laughs> Sorry, I have to point out Deluxe Galvanizer because I think that's awesome. I think that's Rune Raider that put that together. I'm really impressed by that. I'm really excited to see how well it does too. But uh, no, I mean, there's every kind of design you could possibly imagine. Oh, I gotta add one more. One second. There, almost forgot to add T. Now, there's a lot of controversy around T and his 500p design. But uh, we're going to see how well it does today against the Dreadnoughts. And I'm hoping that I don't regret the decision to put him in this competition. Because I've received quite a bit of flack from people, personal messages, that uh, are quite upsetting, actually. Uh, it makes me... Uh, well, we're going to talk more about that later. We're going to talk about the schedule uh, for the up-and-coming reassembly tournaments in the future. Because that is... It has to change. And uh, some of the things that has been going on are surrounding this tournament. But before we get to that, let's just have the tournament because that's what we're all here for, right? So let's do it. <laughs> wow, yeah, a lot of ships today. I think it's, it's, it's around 40, 45, somewhere around there. Okay, and we're starting off with Warpath. Warpath is another one of the smaller ships that entered the tournament uh, with the purpose of uh, using the small ship design. And, of course, just applying enough damage to win the battle. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, there's a lot of controversy around this right now. Actually, there's a lot of angry people. There's people that are upset. There's people that are like, oh, it's okay. But there's a lot of people that are upset. Well, I have a story um, that I'd like to share that kind of revolves around this small ship design. And why it is and should be completely legal because it's it's using the AI in the way that the AI is designed. And, you know, I have a little story about when I was younger, and I hope it doesn't take too long here, but we're going to watch a fight at the same time. And um, the, when I was a kid, I was in school, and they, they, they assigned us, uh, the assignment uh, was to build a vessel that could hold an ice cube and keep it frozen for as long as possible. And everybody went home, got help from their parents, and they came, everybody came back with these big monstrosities um, that uh, were designed to store this ice cube. And I forgot about the assignment, and I just grabbed a little Tupperware, not a Tupperware, like a like a sour cream container, brought it home, or brought it brought it to school, and they threw the ice cube in that, and uh, teacher was, like, disappointed and everything, but mine made it. Mine survived. Mine actually did the best out of everybody's. And it, it, it's not because I did a really good job, it's not because I spent a lot of time doing what I did, but the, the, the matter, the point of the story is that it doesn't matter how much time I spent with it. It doesn't matter that it used a lot of imagination, it didn't matter, and none of those things mattered. The only thing that mattered is that it kept that ice cube frozen longer and the reason it did that is because of room temperature and some other factors but it's still according to the rules of the contest or the assignment i won i succeeded and that's the thing that is bothering me about ships like t is that yes you're right it's it's not terribly exciting to watch it's it's not an absolute it's not an in, a, a really creative or inventive design but the bottom lies, line is, in the, in, the, in the world, in the grand scheme of things, if it's a winning design, why do we have to exclude it? You know, I, 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 I'm, I'm torn about the whole thing, but, and, and you guys are right, it's not exciting fights. And really, you know, maybe we will, I, I, because of all of the controversy, we are going to set up categories, and maybe we should just can cancel this tournament and uh, take T out, but... Uh, I don't know. I, I still think there's a chance that T could be knocked out. <laughs> I, I don't know how likely it is, but there is a chance. Um, the point is T is using the AI. Oh, 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 I would love to see T go down here. I would love it. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. There we go. See, it's not that he's unbeatable. It, it's t that ship there out of the competition just like that. So, in any case, the moral of the story is that just because somebody doesn't spend a lot of time with their ship, um, they may still have a grand plan. There may be, still be something more to what they're trying to put together. And in T's case, 
um, the awesome the awesome awesome Will was using the his small ship design to try and be fast and light and apply just a small amount of damage and stay away, and it was effective. And we cannot we can't exclude somebody for building effective ships. We can't do that just because somebody comes in and they win every battle doesn't mean they 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 can't participate in the tournaments. That's really not fair. If you come up with something that's really ingenious that uses the AI or you bend the AI to your will, then why should we exclude you? That's, that doesn't make any sense. So anyway, unfortunately, T did lose. I'm, I'm relieved, but I'm not relieved. You know, it's, it's one of the, I have a lot of mixed feelings about it, and just so do you guys do as well. I mean, I like to watch battles like this more so than I like to watch big battle or battles with, with ships like T. But that doesn't change the fact that ships like T can't be designed to win big tournaments like this you know what i mean like i don't know but anyway i i hope you got the point of what i was saying and please stop sending me nasty messages about it because uh really it's not encouraging me too much to do these tournaments at all anymore <laughs> so just to let everybody know okay so as far as the tournament's going here i we have Audi cook me on the right and zero Ridge, sorry i don't know your name offhand uh but uh looks like i Again, this is a asymmetrical design by Audi Cook Me, and I've always liked the asymmetrical design. But this one doesn't seem as maneuverable as some of his previous designs. Um, whereas Zero Edge is just, you know, he's just dancing. <laughs> and of course, applying the enormous amount of damage, and of course, might just win it just because he's applying so much. And you know what's, again, you know, if, if you're, you're building ships that will work with the AI, or that you can make the AI do what you want. And you see, if I was playing Zero Edge, you know, I I, I would certainly just keep my distance and apply, apply enough damage and then just fly away, right? But that's not the game. The game is to try and figure out how the AI is going to fly your ship. I don't know. Okay, so now we have uh, Daily Dose, which is the builder is amazing, and amazing is the winner of the first official all three rounds of the official tournaments and hand of god i don't know who that is oh but that was effective that was amazing he took him out and uh, amazing is using lead speak i don't know if that's considered lead speak anymore with the capital letters i think lead speak has to have uh, numbers in it i don't know <laughs> in any case uh good job there we go done uh, look at all the proton beams on that sucker that's awesome okay and now we have overkill mega versus bright lancer Again, I should know your names, but I don't. Uh, wow, that was super fast. So, Faction 4, obviously. Nice big stream. Both are Faction 4. So, I think we've seen Bright Lancer before. <laughs> I think we've seen Bright Lancer before. Wow, that was, uh, that's quite the stream. <laughs> uh, holy smokes. Yeah, but are those, those are all drones coming in, and, uh, the drones, wow, that is just a solid stream. Wow, beautiful. Nice ship. Nice ship. Very nice ship. All right, so now we have Spawner Mark II Main versus Z Excide, Excide Destroyer. Exciter, Exciter Ship Destroyer here and uh, Spawner II. I don't know who that is. Uh, oh, right on. Yeah, so it looks like he's got, uh, yeah, the big asteroid asteroid engines on his ship, the Exciter is. But they're, they're big targets, too. I, I think they can take a lot of hits. He's got a turn. Oh, turn if he gets those beams on him. Oh, Oh, wow, a lot of fighter uh, firepower on Exciter's ship there. So the key is, of course, all those things. Uh, he's just designed to get a real close and apply a lot of thumping damage. And he didn't hit with the lasers. It was with the rails on his ship. The rails chewed him up. And it looks like he's going to do the same thing. Maybe gets in close. Oh, those shields go down fast. And looks like he's going to take another pass. Oh, yeah. I don't know if the beams are all that effective, but those rails, honestly, the rails for Faction 1 are awesome. Yeah, there they go. <laughs> Look at how fast they take down the shields. It's amazing. And I think he's gonna take it. He, but I don't know, Spawner's doing a lot of damage. Look at how much damage Spawner's done. Yeah, no, he just, he just uh, couldn't take those hits. I'm not sure what faction that is. Don't yell at me for factions, too. That's another thing. Do not send me any more private messages telling me how bad I am at this. Because, uh, uh, yeah, I don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> I try to keep this positive, And, you know, I don't, have, I don't spend as much time with reassembly as some of you guys. So um, I'm 
a lot of times I'm just doing my best. That was a really cool ship, actually. Uh, Blade, very interesting looking ship. I mean, they're both interesting looking, but uh, Blade ship, I'm trying to understand it. A lot of drones, and I don't know if the, those are beam weapons or something in there. I don't know. I'm no, I don't know what faction that is. Again, don't yell at me. Uh, as you can tell, my mood's probably changed with the tournaments. I, I just I've taken a little bit of a brow beating since the last couple, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. I'm I'm still here and I'm still doing them. Okay, so we got if that betra if that betrays versus Aphelion, 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 Aphelion. I'm not sure. Wow, that was a lot of damage all at once. So definitely a faction four versus faction one. Always interesting, and I always like to see it when. Uh, faction 1 beats a Faction 4, but I don't know, I like newcomers to have a, a good shot, a nice fair shot too, but it looks like uh, If That Betrays, uh, which is Shoveler, I think it's a Shoveler, he, his ships have always been quite effective. They may be Faction 1, but uh, great designs. Look at how maneuverable he is too. And all of those missiles are hitting, like every single one. That is crazy. He's just, oh yeah, beautiful fight. Beautiful. Excellent. Okay, so, yeah, you know what? Faction 1 can beat Faction 4. It's all about design, people. So, yeah. Oh, but if he gets a couple good shots in, like, uh, of course, there's no way Faction 1 can survive some direct hits from the modular guns. Because <laughs> uh, that's that's not going to... Oh, ooh, beautiful. Almost. Yeah, but he can't... Those missiles, like, there's... They're just non-stop. What an onslaught. I think they're, they must be a light missile, but there's enough of them to just... Yeah. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful fight. Regardless of whether you won or lost there, beautiful fight. That's what I like to see. Okay, speed launcher. And, uh... I love the colors. Love the colors. And rainbow launcher. I love the colors on both. Oh, he's running out of power. You can tell he's running out of power. Oh, no. Oh, no. There, too. Oh, wow. Um, is that... Is that a multi-faction ship? It is. Okay, somebody has broken the rules. I think that is a multi-faction ship. <sighs> Blast. So, because, uh, yeah, that's that's a multi-faction ship. Okay, I am canceling this tournament. Okay, so we're starting over. I've taken out T, and I've taken out the uh, Warpath as well. And the multi-faction ship, which didn't belong, it was actually against the rules. I can tell by the different types of missiles, as well as the Faction 4 guns, etc, etc, etc. So here we go again, starting over again. I know that stinks, but uh, we got to do what we got to do, right, to make this fair. And uh, I think, I think we need to keep... I think we need to keep, uh, I think we need to keep the smaller ships out for now, just to keep everybody from, of course, uh, beating me up verbally, because... <laughs> I just don't want to. I don't want to hear it. I really don't. So, and here we've got grabs versus the cube menace. Uh, looks like a lot of missiles versus uh, what are those missiles? No drones. Missiles versus drones. Actually, what a straight up firefight, eh? Just they keep their distance from each other and launch and has hardly any damage applied. This is crazy. <laughs> wow. Um. What a firefight. They just, you know, stand at your corner. Oh, it looks like... Oh, he does have a... He's not firing his faction for... Or his, his modular gun. I'm pretty sure that's a modular gun in the center there for grabs. But he, maybe he just can't get aimed or he doesn't have... What often happens is that they don't have enough power to fire the main gun as well as all of those drones. Which is quite possibly what happened. So, I think... Maybe, I don't know, because why wouldn't he be firing his main gun? That's so bizarre. Um, I apologize, Grabs. I think the AI is doing you wrong here. However, check your power systems because you may not actually have enough power to run all of those defense lasers and those drones as well. So, interesting fight. Interesting fight. And uh, it's over. Uh, it it could have gone to anybody. It was a completely random draw there. <laughs> okay, so now we have Paper Crab versus... Uh, TX Fighter. So we saw this one already in the first attempt. And we are going to see it again. Uh, wow, look at... Oh, wow, beautiful! You know, Paper Crab? I love the, I love the look. I just love that, that bright, bright red. I just think that's really, really cool. And, of course, TX Fighter is, is an amazing looking ship. It is, uh... But it just... Oh, wow, is it... I, I don't... I... I 
I, don't yell at me about not knowing which faction, but I'm just wondering, is that a is that a faction three? Maybe it just went down so fast. Like, look at all the drones, paper crab. What a neat design. So just keeping just a lot of drones, I guess. Amazing, amazing. Okay, Overkill Mega, which is a Faction 4 ship. Why does it look like... Oh, I see, okay. And then we've seen Blade already. Blade, I'm still not quite sure what Blade's primary... I think he has some some turreted beam weapons there, but uh, and it looks like Overkill has to, <laughs> of course, aim. And all it's going to take is one shot, I think. One shot from Overkill, and it's... Oh, yeah, Blade, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what faction Blade is. It's, wow, just got chewed up. Yeah, all it's going to take is one more shot. And I'm uh, sorry, Blade, uh, you know, <laughs> this was your second chance to, oh, beautiful, right down the middle. Nice shot, overkill. Okay, so now we have a uh, big battleship versus Lapsenau. And Lapsenau is in faction three ship. I love him and for his faction three ships. I just, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, big battleship is... Um, hard, hard to say what he is, but uh, he's a cube ship. <laughs> and, of course, Lapsenau is Faction 3, and I tell you, if that Faction 3 is able to... I think Big Battleship might be Faction 4? I don't know, it's got the... Either Faction 4 or Faction 2, because of those uh, defense lasers, maybe. But uh, look at all of those missiles coming off of that Faction 3 ship. Zorlak the Mular's Revenge versus Big Battleship. Zorlak, launch the missiles. <laughs> so it looks like he's got some laser defense, and yeah, Faction Three has some really awesome weapon systems. It's, it's just, uh, it's just the armor on their ships. It just, you know, can't take the hits. Um, I think we're gonna speed that up. I don't know. It's, I mean, you lapse it now. You actually hit his ship once for eight points. <laughs> uh, speed it up just a bit more. Oh, you hit him. Oh, I guess each one of those missiles, uh, two points per missile. So you hit him like five times. Fantastic! Faction 3 beating... Oh, now I got a better look. So I think it's Faction 2? Is that a Faction 2 ship? Or maybe... I don't know. Hard to tell. Hard to tell from this distance uh, what the big battleship is, but Lapsano I'm, is, is Faction 3 for sure. So, and uh, yeah, I think it's going to be much the same. So he's hit him twice. <laughs> Every one of those missiles doing two. A total two points of damage. Hit him three times. Uh, big Battleship just can't get in close enough to, to apply anything. So, nice to see a Faction 3 win the day. Makes me so happy. And now we're off to... Uh, Fatagan? Uh, Fatagan versus Deluxe Galvanizer. How can I not like that ship? How can I not love it? It's amazing. It's it's the Deluxe Gaming TG. I, I Of course I love it. I don't know if you're going to be able to catch up. Looks like you've actually applied some damage already there. I think it's Rune Raider that did... Uh, oh, it's the nukes! Nukes. Are those all... Like... The nukes are facing the wrong direction? I'm not... Oh, I see. They're turning around. Oh, look at that! Interesting! So... They're actually... Oh, beautiful. Uh, ah, my deluxe ship was destroyed! Blast you! <laughs> Super awesome. Okay, so now we have Aphelion versus Trawler Mauler. Oh, cut him in half, Faction 4. Oh, man, what a... Oh, no, that's terrible. So what are the wings for there, uh, Trawler Mauler? Uh, are they... Oh, that's where your drones go. I see. You do have some beams on there as well. Uh, looks like you don't have enough power to fire guns either. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I, it's hard to say. In such a short burst, it's hard to say whether or not you did or not. Okay, so we have the Reaper who has... I saw. I thought I saw a nuke there, but uh, maybe not. Uh, the, the Reaper is... Uh, oh, yes. He is Faction 7, for sure. Faction 7. I think that other ship that uh, I was confused about was Faction 7 as well. But I still get confused about Faction 7, specifically because I have not played them, so... Yeah, like I said, please don't yell at me. I know I've said that uh, already a couple times, but uh, I, it's it's hard to wake up and see uh, some pretty brutal messages in your inbox. But anyway, good job, Reaper. I didn't really make a comment on the other guy's ship. Okay, ba ba 
Bahamut. I think we've seen your ship before, or something like it anyway. Um, oh, wow, the nukes are taking it. So the nukes are starting to make more of an appearance in the tournaments, which is really, really exciting, actually. Sorry, Bahamut. Yeah, it looks like a really neat ship, but uh, didn't make it. Annihilator, a lot of engines. And, oh, Iconian, what is that? Is that all? Is that Faction 1? Hard to tell. I think it is. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, maybe Faction 7? I don't know. Faction 1 and Faction 7, I often get confused because the guns look very similar. Uh, well, once I see a nuke, then I know for sure. But uh, And I think Amazing was going to make me a key, which I'm actually really looking forward to taking a look at. He's going to make me a key that helps me uh, commentate these. Faction 8. Somebody was... Oh, Amazing is saying Faction 8. Okay, so good to know. It's nice to see that Amazing is actually watching the, the uh, stream right now. So Faction 8, and I think that's Faction 7, right? So Faction 7 on the list, but it's Faction 8 on the... Whatever. It's really, really confusing. That's all I know, and that's why I need a key. And that's why, you know, it's really hard to do these sometimes. But, uh, yeah, really amazing. I think that is actually a Faction 1, though, isn't it? With those big beams? I'm pretty sure that's Faction 1, because those are proton beams. I'm pretty sure on Annihilator ship. I, I, maybe I'm wrong, but it uh, kind of looks like it anyway. Wow, look at the destruction. Uh, and of course, a lot of those uh, guns on Iconian ship, on Os Osiris's ship there, are, are, are like schmutz launchers. They, they, they're they applying um, area effect damage, which is really interesting. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful fight. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're on to Daily Dose, which is Amazing Ship. Amazing happens to be watching the channel right now. And the Speed Launcher, which is a really wildly colored ship. And he definitely has drones, and I think he is actually a B-faction ship, so lots of laser drones. But the laser drones don't have the same effect as they used to. Um, really love your colors, though. Speed Launcher, really good colors. I uh, Didn't you two fight before, too, in the first one? I'm pretty sure you did. And uh, I think Amazing got chill last time. There's not much left to your ship, though. Oh, too bad, too bad. It was an interesting fight. Yeah, the laser drones don't occupy the enemy like they used to. Uh, the Speed Launcher Spitzel. Spetzel. As somebody was telling me what uh, Spetzel meant. Uh, I, I think it was efficient or fast or something. I don't remember. I don't remember. It's a German word anyway. I'm sure you guys will let me know. Daily Dose wins it, which is amazing. Good job, amazing. Excellent. All right, so now we have the Hand of God versus Fancy Straw. <laughs> uh, Hand God did really well last time, I think. I don't remember, but I, oh yeah, he's got a lot of lot of little beam weapons and. Wow, do those ever fire fast. Look at how fast those fire. That's crazy. Awesome. And, of course, we have Fancy Straw, which is a Faction 1. Pretty sure that's a Faction 1 ship. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Hand of God wins it, though. That is a very nice-looking ship. They both look really nice, though. So. Uh, Fancy Straw, I think we've seen different versions of Fancy Straw before. Look at that. What the destruction! Wow, Hannah God hardly got touched. Wow. Wow, okay. And we are on to It That Betrays versus Sunset Street. Both of them. Um, Astomite is Sunset Street, I believe, and It That Betrays is Shoveler. Uh, Sunset Street was came in second once, and I think Shoveler came in second once, so it's an interesting fight. It That Betrays is using a fast Faction 1 ship, and Sunset Street, I believe... I don't know. I'm not even going to risk a guess, because uh, my first instinct is to say Faction 1, but I don't think it's Faction 1, but then I could be totally wrong. Um, Sunset Street actually almost won, I think it was our second tournament, and it was, uh, I think he lost to a spinning ship, and that's why we put the spinning ships into their own category, is because it was kind of an unfair fight. I believe that's what happened anyway. Um, now we ah uh, yeah wow wow you know what I could I wouldn't have bet on that fight because I wouldn't be able to tell you who would win it. Um, Sunset Street has a lot of engines and he's highly maneuverable and I'm surprised he's allowing those uh, missiles to hit. Actually no he's dodging he's dodging most of them so yeah that's where he he is actually doing very well at dodging them now. Now that I take a closer look yeah he's he is getting hit but not like. Not like It That Betrays. It That Betrays just has a lot of front armor. And he is directing most of the damage right to the front of his ship. And he does have some shields in there, but not 
nothing. Oh wow! Look at all the damage that's happening to Ithapetreus, and he's just. He just keeps on going. Oh, Sunset! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I, I'm i amazed. That that was a beautiful fight. It was a beautiful, beautiful thing. Okay, so now we have Star Whip, another sniper type ship. Of course, a Faction 4 heavy stream. Can he maintain that? Like, how long can you maintain that stream? Really? You're kidding. Uh, sometimes faction four ships amaze me actually how is that possible that he can maintain that stream uh, I don't know I don't know <laughs> that doesn't seem fair does it yeah I don't know because I, I've played faction four I didn't think that their weapons could last that long um, is it he actually did do some damage. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> I just want Amazing to know when he finally watches this video that I am watching his comments in the top right. So thank you. I appreciate your help. And I, I don't see any. I, I Oh, I do see the generator. His ship is made of generators. That's what it is. There is no blocks on his ship. It's all generators. He has no armor whatsoever. Star Whip is all generators. So one or two hits and that ship will go down. But I don't know. Look at it. Look at it. It's all generators. Look at that. From top to bottom. That is amazing. Oh, beautiful shot. Uh, wow. Uh, what can I say? That was that was pretty awesome. Okay, so another sniper ship. This sniper was, I think, came in second place in one of the tournaments as well. Versus Race. And, of course, this is his uh, AIDS ship. <laughs> Ethereum Imperial Dreadnought Spaceship AIDS. Okay. Uh, versus Sniper, which is another ship very similar to the last one we saw, except it can't maintain that uh, stream quite as long because he doesn't have as many um, generators on his ship. But he he's, he's all for the distance. He gets the distance, and then he, re he relies on very fine, finely tuned aimed shots. So, I don't know. He did win so... Oh, yeah, look at it. He's already done... Oh, oh, it's the nukes going off on Race's ship. Of course, he is a Faction 7 ship, of course. Uh, oh, wow. Whoops. Way too fast. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Yeah, look at the range. The range is nuts. Okay, so we're going to speed it up here now. And I think those nukes are actually slowing down Race's ship. When they go off... Yeah, he kind of does a little stutter there. Uh, I, I'm sorry... I, it's I'm really it's really unfortunate, Ethereum, that you're not going to be able to catch up. Um, but uh, looks like he's got you outranged, and we've seen Sniper do this before, um, and I'm sure he'll do it again. <laughs> it's a good design. It's at, but we're starting to see more of that design in the competition because that's becoming a little bit more of a meta for this uh, for this tournament. So um, it'll be interesting to see how people deal with that. Now that uh, laser drones are not as good, but you know what's funny is we've only seen what one or one or two ships with laser drones this competition so far. Ah, so I don't know. All right, side excited exciter in excited destroyer. Holy crap! Wow! Look at how can he maintain all of that? That's nuts! How is that possible? I just... Faction 4 still surprises me. It still surprises me. Okay, I guess that's it for uh, for that one. Alright, so we have the KSW Doombot, which I think is uh, Johan. I'm pretty sure it's Johan. Versus Bright Lancer Mark II. And I'd love to see Johan get a win because he hasn't had much of a win. Uh, but I don't know. I just don't think you... I, I don't think you're going to be able to catch up to Bright Lancer. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, Johan. I, I, I was really rooting for you this time. I wanted you to get a win because, I don't know, I kind of like your ship. It's, it kind of looks... You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the original missile defense from, like, the Atari 2600. It just kind of has that look of the little, the, little, uh, the little silos with the missiles in them. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Probably not. Um, but uh, that's what it looks like to me. Anyway, Bright Lancer wins it. Good job, Bright Lancer. And we're on to... The final 16, I think. Oh, we're in the final 16 already. Okay. Or we're working on the final 16. And we've got the big one, which is Purple Electric Tiger. 
I I'd love for you to get a win, too, because you don't get a lot of wins. But uh, And the Cube Menace. Is that nukes all in front? What is that? Or is that just drones? I can't even tell. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, the big one, of course, has the big one. Oh, beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. A lot of Faction 4 ships here, folks. And, yeah, those are all just drones, eh? Let's just... But it doesn't look like you're able to maintain launching all those drones. Is that what's happened? Because it looked like last time you just stopped firing them, launching the drones. I'm talking about Cube Menace. Um, yeah, where's the bulk of those drones? Like, your first launch of drones were really good, but now they're kind of not so good. So I'm wondering if maybe you're having some power issues. Um, and I'm kind of struggling to see what faction that is. I don't know, I'd have to have to take a closer look. But uh, yeah, it, you know, if you were able to pump out even more drones, but you still may win this. Um, because the big one, of course, has to be able to aim and fire. And uh, if he's not doing that, I think those lasers actually eat up your... <laughs> the lasers actually eat up your power. So I don't know. I, I don't know if that's the factor or not. Um, but I think I think Cube's actually going to win this just from a few odds and ends, <laughs> which is great. The drones. The drones are good. you got to keep firing those. Remember that for next time. <laughs> uh, I would like to see Purple Electric Tiger win too. I want everybody to win. That's a problem, and not everybody can win. And that's why the other type of tournament can be a little bit better, because everybody gets to fight everybody. It just takes so long. So, yeah, I think maybe Cube might take it unless... So it's really strange. Yeah, like, why did Purple Electric Tiger's ship stop firing after the first round? It's really, really strange that he... It, I guess it's because the Cube Menace didn't fire those drones right away. So the drones are still occupying ships. Um, not like they were. I think the drones, it's still... It's still... You know, there's probably some balancing that needs to be done there. But I think it's it's still pretty good. Oh, here comes Paper Crab. And uh, Zero Edge War Dancer, again, a highly maneuverable cube ship, which is interesting. And Paper Crab looks like a ship that's been damaged already, but he's not. That's actually what he's supposed to look like. And he has a lot of drones, and I think it's drones and missiles. Yes, drones and missiles are everything necessary to keep your enemy occupied. But I think it's Faction... Is it Faction 2? Faction 8, which is Faction 7, right. Thank you, Amazing, in the top right corner. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> so, faction, so Faction 7, which I think is a Faction 8, um, they're both the same. I think Faction 7 is the playable faction, the last playable faction. Um, interesting, interesting. And, and like I said, it's one I get confused all the time because it, uh, it looks like so many other things. It's kind of, it's almost a combination of other things. But what's really interesting is that None of those drones, hardly any any of those drones or fight or uh, missiles are actually hitting. And whatever Zero Edge fires seems to hit. So why is Zero Edge, that's the question, why is Zero Edge not firing? Uh, or maybe, maybe, maybe that's just, there's just a long delay on those missiles, but it seems weird. Uh, I don't think that uh, Zero Edge is going to win it. It's, it's just... Bizarre, the AI is so bizarre sometimes, you gotta admit, it's really bizarre. Okay, so Paper Edge, or Paper Crab, sorry, <laughs> Paper Edge, <laughs> and Zero Crab, Zero Crab and Paper Edge. No, Paper Crab, um, and what's really interesting is from one fight to the next, they will change their tactics entirely. I, I'm sorry, I'm speeding it up here and there just to, because sometimes it seems like it's dragging out a, a bit, but... Hard to say. So Paper Crab is actually applying the damage this time, where Zero Edge is not dodging like he was, or maybe he's going to adapt. I don't know. I love the, the that the AI does tries different things. It's like it's tried Tactic 43 from the Tactic book, from the playbook, you know? Oh, yeah, those missiles are just too slow. That's the one thing about Zero Edge. He has lots of maneuverability. So, huh. And he's just... His missiles just aren't hitting this time. It's just... They're in a they're in a funny spin this time, whereas last time they were they were different. Zero Edge seemed to have the advantage, and this time Paper Crab is hitting more. It's really really bizarre. Okay, so that one's done now. So Paper Crab wins it. Oh, Paper Crab did win it the first time. I'm sorry, I was looking at the wrong points. I apologize. Please don't yell at me. Please don't yell at me. <laughs> I I can take it. I'm a big boy. It's just I'd rather not have you yell at me. 
Okay, so Lapsanel with his Faction 3 versus Faction 4, which is going to be super fun. I want to see, uh, of course, I would love to see a Faction 3 ship beat a Faction 4 ship, but it's only, all, if Overkill sneezes, that happens. Oh, blast. <laughs> That's a problem. Lapsanel can't get hit. If the F3 ship gets, Faction 3 ship gets hit at all, it's all over. And I don't know if there's enough drones in the world to be able to take out those shields enough. I would love it if you could, you know, maybe missiles. Missiles might have done better. Missiles and drones, maybe? I don't know. Ah, those shields just won't go down. Blast, that's too bad. Oh, man. Okay, so we've got HMSS SWAT. Which is another one of those funny cube ships like we saw last time, which looks like a Faction 1. Either Faction 1 or Faction 8. And then we've got, of course, Gladiator. Uh, who's Faction 1? Pretty sure? Pretty sure. And he's, yeah. They just, they just collided and fought. That's it. Like, no maneuvering. Oh look, he doesn't even have any side thrusters or reverse thrusters. He only goes forward. Gladiator only goes forward. And SWAT, does SWAT have any engines at all? Maybe he does. Oh yeah, well, sorry. He does. They're the, uh, they're the, the big ones on the, in the center there. Really interesting. It's just not enough damage. Gladiator. Why, why, why? No engines in the front. No engines on the side. No maneuvering whatsoever. Interesting. Interesting design. Exotic sniper rifle versus, of course, Adi Cookme and his bizarrely weird skeleton-like designs, which is his signature for sure. And then Exotic Sniper Rifle is, of course, a Faction 4. <clears throat> and it's... Sorry, I'm just reading the the, uh, the text. Sorry, the stream, I'm reading the chat. I shouldn't be doing that doing that while I'm uh, while I'm commentating. But, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, Faction 4 is just... It's a very pretty short range for a sniper. Uh, to call yourself a sniper in this, in this uh, tournament, I don't know, it's pretty short range. I guess you could be... Kind of a mid-range sniper, I guess, but uh, we've seen snipers that have some pretty incredible range. What's interesting here is uh, the whoops, the lost red knot by Adi Cookney is not really doing much. He's uh, looks like he's losing his engines as we speak now too. So I don't know. I thought his engines were buried in his ship, but maybe not. It just doesn't look like he's got the ability to do anything. It looks like he's trying to catch up, but he just he just can't do it. Yeah, so really interesting. So I'm not even sure what Adi Cookney's plan was with this ship. I mean, it looks amazing. It looks like the skeleton of a ship. It, or a or ship that's, you know, partially constructed, but it's kind of an alien-like design. I don't know. I, I, I really like it. I really, really like the design. But I'm not quite sure what the plan of action was for this ship. I think... I don't know. Oh! you. If you get in close, you probably have some firepower on that ship I guess yeah yeah you do yeah you do those rails once they get in close you can get s some damage in but uh, unfortunately he's he can outrange you and, and just pelt you and just whittle away at your bones there <laughs> yeah I think that pretty much finishes it yeah there we go okay so now we're on to <clears throat> excuse me uh, I don't know how to pronounce your ship fat fat fatten fatten I guess the the H and the T Oh, the H, T, and N are silent. I think I know what he's trying to say. And the spawner mark too. So we're just going to call you Fat and mess you right up. Um, so Fat is uh, getting... What has he got? Like some kind of burst weapon. Oh, he's got a... Is that a nuke? Oh, right, he's got nukes or something on there. That's right. <gasps> oh, wow. Look at the... Oh, here comes the nukes. And looks like the nukes are getting distracted by the fighters, which is really interesting. Interesting! Interesting. And, you know, when I first started doing these tournaments, I thought nukes were going to be uh, a serious problem, but they actually haven't been uh, a deciding factor. Mind you, not everybody is really using them, so... Also, you'll notice the nukes actually have a little gun on them, so they're like a little fighter on their own. Uh oh this could be... Oh, if that nuke gets in close, you could be in trouble there, spotter! Oh, no! Oh, no! Because if the nuke... Oh! Oh, 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 if that nuke, yeah, the nukes, ah, oh, it didn't do any damage, that's really surprising, I guess, I guess if you knock it out, then it doesn't uh, do any damage, I don't know, okay, good fight, all right, Kilt, Kideon, Kideon Knife, versus 
Aphelion. Af- Aphelion. Sorry, it's really hard to pronounce these sometimes. And, of course, Aphelion. Looks like he might be suffering from some power shortages, because only some of his guns are firing. Uh, that could be the issue. I don't know. And then, Kidian, we don't know what you're doing, Kidian. Um, you are just filled to the brim with proton... With, with beam... Uh, protons, proton beams. I'm pretty sure those are proton beams. Ah, you know, you, it's if you could fit just a few more engines, you might be able to catch up. But whoops, oh, speed that up, not slow it down. Um, if you could just get in. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh wow, that is awesome. Good job. Wow, uh, I'm really impressed by that, but you've got to really cross your fingers that you get in close and do the damage. Oh, just like that. But is that the only weapon you have? Um, oh, you've got some point defense or some antimatters or something on there. Well done. Beautiful. Um, all right, so now we're back down to the Reaper and Iconian Tiberian. Okay, and the Reaper or Iconian... I think his faction seven and wow, <laughs> just like that, and yep, just a lot of guns and uh, whoo, good job, Osiris, good job, man. All right, so now we're on to F1 tournament ready versus Amazing Ship. F1 tournament ready. I'm sorry, I don't know who you are, but it looks like you are a faction one with a lot of rails on you. And, of course, we have Daily Dose, which is amazing, which is the uh, all-time official tournament champion for all three categories. Um, the, the main categories on the official tournaments are 300, 3,000, and 8,000. But, uh, what? Nobody saw that coming. I am absolutely gobsmacked. How did that happen? I know Amazing's watching going, what? Um... <laughs> That's a total AI faux pas. Oh, look! What the? No way! Oh, wow. I thought he was going to do it again. So it's almost like... He, as soon as he loses some of that front armor, he gets nice and light. Like, his, ships get, his ship gets lighter, so he, he's able to speed up a bit, and then he catches up to Amazing Ship. So look, watch. That armor goes down. Now it makes him light enough that, he, that he's able to get in closer. No, maybe not. Maybe he's not going to do it again, but uh, that was pretty amazing. Sorry, amazing. I keep using your name. Yeah, see, did it again. Oh, no. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, sorry, amazing, but... I don't know. It's... it's. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, man. Okay, if that betrays with the shoveler versus star whip. And it literally is a star whip. Look at that. Look at it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Oh, you don't need your left side or the right side. What do you need that? Oh, geez, all that armor. It was just taking up space anyway. Oh, oh, well, you know, it's just trying to make life easier for you. Ah. Oh, you're rebuilding. That's the nice thing about Faction 1 ships, too. They they rebuild pretty quick. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, no, no. Don't fly into the stream. Not into the stream. Oh, if you'd have hit with those antimatters, you would have destroyed him. All he's got on his ship is generators. One or two good hits, and he is toast. Oh. <laughs> You are fighting for your life if that betrays. It's almost like it's being human controlled. Like, he is doing, actually, the AI is doing an amazing job at controlling that ship. Oh! Oh, Kenny! No! No! Oh, wow! Oh, unbelievable. Okay. And none of those missiles are catching up either. All it would take is one stray shot and Star Whip would be finished. That's a beautiful design, Star Whip. So I wonder if the... If the generators are actually lighter than the armor, I'm assuming they are. Um, of course, like I said, all it'll take is one shot, but uh, uh, to get that one shot in is going to be tough because you move so fast, and trying to dodge that stream at the same time is tricky. Oh! Uh, <laughs> and, of course, being built out of generators, you are able to supply enough power to keep that thing running. Look at him! Oh! <laughs> Just skirting along the edge of it. Like, how do you dodge that? Even if I was flying that ship, I don't know. That would be tricky. I think I could. I think I could do it. I. I think I could outmaneuver Star Whip at playing as a human a player, but uh, it would be tricky. Oh, oh! If these shots hit, if these shots hit, you're toast, Star Whip. 
I would love to see a third round. I would love it. Oh, don't make a mistake. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. Crossing the stream, that's bad. Good job, Star Whip. Sorry, Shoveler. <laughs> that was brilliant. It was really good. Okay, so Bright Lancer versus uh, Merch and Super Gustav Max again. Or Sorry, this time it's Super Dreadnought Insta-Kill Gu Cannon Gustav Max versus Bright Lancer Mark II. And Gustav Max is notorious for his uh, very simple yet elegant Faction 4 designs. And Bright Lancer is, of course, a Faction 4 design. And he looks... Bright Lancer looks like he's well-rounded, and he's done very well in this competition, I think, so far. But uh, Gustav, or Merch, has this ability to build ships that all of a sudden do... Look at that. It's almost like, yeah, he's covering so much ground. Um, unfortunately, he's taking a lot of... Well, he's not taking a huge amount of damage. Um, but if he can keep firing those main guns, he, he will win this. <gasps> as long as it keeps his distance... If you don't keep your... Oh, you've lost all your main guns! Oh, no! That's not good! Oh, no! Merch, no! <laughs> uh, Bright Lancer is going to take it from you. Oh, no. There, you're just a husk. You're just a husk. Good times, good times. Okay, oh! Yeah, see, Bright Lancer has some well-placed armor, but he can't... He can't shoot his gun if he doesn't have one. Uh, looks like uh, looks like Merch has already lost part of his guns is al already. They're starting to fall apart. Those drones! Oh! If only you had just an extra layer of something to protect yourself. Uh, Merch in the front there. It just looks like... You know, you're relying on that alpha strike right at the beginning, and I get that. But uh, just not quite enough. You did it! Round two, you got it. I, I didn't expect it, so as soon as I hit fast forward, of course, you take it. Oh, just out of range. Ah, tricky. Okay, they're closing. Wait till it closes. You're losing some of your guns already, Gustav. And Bright Lancer, can you do it again? Can you get those drones in enough to destroy all of those guns? Oh, oh no. Oh, there goes half your ship. See, this is how Merch does so well. Is it? He surprises you all of a sudden and then takes out your ship. Look at that. That's that's amazing. Amazing. Ingenious, elegant beautiful designs i love it okay so we are on to the cubic menace i don't think we've have we seen the oh yes we've seen the cubic menace he has a pile of drones and paper crab has a pile of drones um but paper crab is paper he's very thin i don't know if he can survive that much damage and it doesn't look looks, look, looks like most of his point defense is in the form of uh just uh Guns, no lasers, no laser defense, which is, of course, the most ideal form of defense for drones, whereas Cubic Menace has lots of lasers, but there's a lot of drones coming off of Paper Crab, and it looks like Cubic Menace might be suffering from the same thing he was before. He's not able to fire off all of his drones because he doesn't have enough power on his ship. Um, launching, so his shields are getting hit, which uses up power. His lasers, defense lasers are firing, which uses up power. He can't afford to launch the drones at the same time. You need more power on your ship. More power on your ship, and you will be, uh, quite formidable. Paper Crab, looks like he's got that nice balance, and he's able to withstand you long enough for you to use up all your power. And once your power is gone, you're a sitting duck, my friend. Well done, Paper Crab. Excellent. Excellent job. Oh, looks like we're up to 14 people watching today. This is this is amazing. Okay, so we're now it's uh, HMS SWAT. We've seen this before, and Father Vincent, Bio Thief. I think Bio Thief is Bio Chief, Bio Thief is a gentleman that does a lot of the uh, uh, marine type designs, like shrimp and stuff. I'm pretty sure. And uh, HMS SWAT. I'm, I apologize. I don't remember who who you are, but uh, we've seen a couple of your ships already in this competition. I think last weekend. And I think one of your ships actually won. And uh, it's a pretty amazing thing. And it looks like those drones are actually making out of that little spot on the inside of your ship. So everything, everything in your ship is super well protected. And it looks like uh, uh, Bio Thief, one of the things I noticed about your ship is, unlike a crustacean, your armor is on the inside, not the outside. Uh, you've got a lot of damage dealing stuff. It's just, by the time you get close enough to use it, you've lost so much of it. Oh, look at that. That's just a big big block of armor that's brutal <laughs> okay spawner versus exotic sniper rifle okay and oh right so uh, 
Here we go. Uh, faction four versus a faction. S no, faction four. I think they're both faction four. Yes, I think I see a modular gun in there. Yeah, and uh, it looks like same kind of tactic. Uh, keep your distance, launch fighters, and then use your main gun. Although Spawner, I think, probably has a shorter range weapon, Exotic Sniper. Of course, we know he has a longer range weapon. It's not super long, but wow! Look at the... I think he's got lots of damage dealing stuff on there or something. I don't know. It's it's thicker than, than what we usually see for a modular weapon. Ah, there's Spawner's main gun coming into action. So it's a short range, fast firing gun. Whereas Exotic Sniper, well, it's, you know, just different. And, and also Spawner has two of them, but I also think he has a center mounted gun as well. Really interesting. Okay, I'm going to speed this one. Whoops, speed it up, not slow it down. Speed it up just a bit. It looks like Spawner may actually win it just from points. He just has more point defense and more drones. Uh, it's just that simple. So he sacrificed some other stuff and, you know, it just so happened to have served him well here. Excellent. On to the next round. Okay, here we go again, and oh, we're going to keep this at two times speed for now, and it looks like he's doing the same thing, just applying a lot of damage with those drones. He's just, Spawner just has a lot of drones. It's hard to see whose drones is whose, though, because they're both kind of similar colors, and of course, if you're colorblind, it would be tricky to see any of these colors, I think, but uh, Spawner is doing the same thing he did last time. Yep, yeah, just applying the damage at range, and Exotic Sniper, you know, if he, get, if he gets that shot in, but... Uh, it looks like it's kind of in a in a repeat now. It's just doing the same thing over and over. Yep. <laughs> fire your gunner, sniper. Fire. Fire him. Okay, now we're working towards just about to our final eight. So the last few of the final 16. Okay, Iconian, Iconian Tiberian of Osiris, which is... I, I still want to say it looks... And it looks kind of like a... Kind of Federation-y. Kind of, sort of. Oh, beautiful! Cut him, and I, I think so, I think Amazing was saying it was Faction Seven, but I don't know. I don't know. It could be Faction One. Um, in any case, uh, Kitten. We know what Kitten does. Ah, uh, except he's got to keep that. Yeah. <laughs> I love the design, Kitten. It just uh, didn't work here. All right. So, and tournament ready. Who beat Amazing? Sorry, Amazing. Um. I don't know if it was luck or this is by design. I guess we're about to find out. Can Tournament Ready do it again? Uh, he's certainly doing a lot of damage. Look at that. Those big rails are just nasty. Once they get in there, they are probably more effective than a modular gun once they get in there. Look at that. That is a beaut... It wasn't a fluke. My opinion, not a fluke. Tournament F1 Tournament Ready is a serious contender. Look at that. He is uh, just devouring Faction 1 ships, so don't feel bad, Amazing. I think you're up against something serious there. Okay, so now we're on to Star Whip versus Sniper. This should be really interesting. So Sniper, I think, has be <laughs> uh, Well, thanks for coming out. Um, Sniper is, uh, of course, has really long range. I think he has longer range than even Star Whip. Star Whip is made of strictly generators on his ship. So, uh, like I said, all it takes is one or two hits and Star Whip is out of commission. But the same could easily be said for Sniper here because... Sniper essentially only has one weapon, and it's right out. Yeah, there it goes. Sniper, tried and true, man. Tried and true. Well done. Okay, so we're on to uh, Merch versus Rail Driver. So I don't know who owns Rail Driver. Uh, oh, wow, but uh, you are fighting against a veteran. Oh, Merch takes it. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, no. Oh, Rail Driver. Oh, really interesting. I like your colors, Rail Driver. I like the purple and green. And not... Oh. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see too much of it. Uh, merch, you're so inconsiderate. All right, so Paper Crab versus Overkill Mega. Uh, Paper Crab is launching his fighters, but Overkill, all it's going to take is one shot. Faction 4, uh, not to say that Faction 4 is the end all and be all, but in this situation, uh, Paper Crab may be made out of paper. Is Paper Crab maybe a Faction 3? I don't think so. No, I, th I think it's a, I don't know. Might as well be Faction 3. <laughs> wow. Uh, I can't say I'm surprised. Uh, Paper Crab, you didn't put a lot of armor on there. Not that it would have done that much good either way. Um, it was a good design. You did very, very well. You beat many opponents in this competition. 
Uh, don't feel bad about that at all. Spawner versus HMSS SWAT. I have a feeling SWAT's going to do very well. I just, uh, you know, the big, the big, the big block with uh, a lot of guns. It's almost like a star base, right? Um, but it does move. It's just really, really slow. It's just so much armor. Like, how do you, how do you deal with that? But here's where SWAT may not do so well because the AI is managing Spawner at a range, and at range. Um, Spawner is just going to apply lots and lots and lots of damage. So where what types of weapons you put on your ship matters. If you only put on long-range weapons or mid-to-long-range weapons, your ship should stay out of range of your enemies. Like this. And, of course, we'll take out that kind of a... It's almost a fluky design. It's like, you know, it's gimmicky, right? The, the whole big block thing. It's really cool, and it wins fights. But it is kind of gimmicky. All it takes is is one ship that uh, sort of manages the AI manages well, and it's all over though. I, I'm really glad that SWAT did as well as it, it did, but uh, I'm also glad to see him go because I don't want everybody yelling at me because that's a new meta. But whatever, y you did really, you did well. So be happy about that. But I think Spawner is going to take it from you. And yes, Spawner is a faction four, but it's not his main weapons that are taking you out. And that's what everybody seems to get all up in arms about it. See, the main modular weapons proves that Faction 4 can, can win fights otherwise too as well. So we're going to speed that right up. <clears throat> and Spawner is going to take it. <laughs> there we go. It's funny, you know, and it's almost totally random sometimes what the AI will do. Uh, you've got to experiment a lot with your ship in the tournament mode to see how your AI will operate against other ships. Okay, so here we go. Uh, tournament ready. Oh, this is just a lot of guns. Oh, look at that. Oh, Osiris, you may have met your match here. This tournament ready ship is just brutal. Those rails, like I said, those rails are just nasty. Look at that. There's, your ship is... That is, that is, that is incredible. Look at that. He's like, I'm going to destroy everything but the command module. All that will be left is a command module, so I can crush you like a bug. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Wow. Uh, when I first saw F1 Tournament Ready, and no offense. Oh, Iconian takes it. Good. Nice balance fight. Awesome. When I first saw F1 Tournament Ready, I didn't think it was going to do that well. And no offense to the designer. Um, I just... Uh, I just didn't see it doing that well, but, you know, it's just straight up. You built a ship with a lot of rails in the center of it, and it's it's winning fights. That's just amazing. You're in the final four. In the final four, man. All right, so we've got Merch versus Sniper. Oh, Sniper. Sniper gets that shot off so fast at the beginning. He's got his, his uh, modules. The modules that he's put on that gun allows him to fire very quickly right from the get-go, and that wins fights. So Merch, unfortunately... <laughs> that's it for you uh do we drag this on like i'll speed it up a bit well you know merch still has a shot here oh, it's not looking good though <laughs> he's still got two guns he still has two guns all it'll take is one shot and sniper's out oh no it's all over sniper i you know it's a brilliant design you know it is okay and overkill final four overkill mega versus spawn um i Oh, Jesus, that main gun. Oh, no. Okay, Kent. No. Wow. Overkill is... A, that's a really awesome design. It's really good. Sniper versus F1 Tournament Ready. I don't know if Sniper can get through that all that armor quick enough. And he's got to hit him, too. So, oh, this is where it gets good, folks. This is get where it gets... Oh, maybe not. No, Sniper just... Yeah, it's it's all over. Sniper is able to keep that range and keep firing at that rate. And uh, there's no way F1 is going to be able to catch up. And as soon as those drones... Oh! <gasps> oh, those drones are catching up. That's not good. Oh, no! No kidding! Unbelievable! I, I've i eaten... I'm eating my words. It's it's an AI issue. Well, it's not an AI issue. It's, it's the, the designer of F1 tournament ready has designed a ship that uses the AI in such a way 
that he distracts him that people don't expect him to be so good or something i don't know like the ai doesn't expect it i don't know it's really really bizarre not what i expected i would love to see f1 win this sorry sniper i know you want to win it um but we know that you have the capability we don't know that tournament one red f1 tournament ready has the capability to win this fight and of course he's the underdog here um if those drones get in oh man oh that's that's it's good good for you sniper uh, and don't be offended by my uh oh this is gonna be i think overkill is gonna steal it from you here i just don't think oh except overkill turned the wrong way he's like i i'm gonna go left <laughs> um uh oh oh just like that overkill walks away with a smile on his face and here it goes again i think this is gonna be fast faction four in the finals <gasps> Maybe Sniper's gonna take it from you here. I don't know. If he keeps that distance, because you do not have this distance overkill. Except Sniper's not firing. Oh! Uh, it was a good thing he fired there. It would have been over. Um, keep firing, Sniper. If you can keep that range, you've got him. You just gotta keep firing. You let him get too close. Um, of course, Sniper is the underdog here now, so I'm kind of rooting for Sniper. At least I think Sniper's the underdog. I don't know. I, these are both really awesome designs sniper is of course a little bit more brittle than overkill and overkill does a lot more damage i think at shorter range not that much shorter though i still think one good hit from sniper and it's it's done for <laughs> should i speed it up i don't know this is the last fight we're not going to speed it up that that's ridiculous okay here goes oh omega takes it or sorry overkill mega <sighs> That was, that was actually an awesome fight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't be mad at me because you didn't win. Don't be mad at me because Faction 4 is doing better than other factions. Because we did see a lot of Faction 4 ships go down today. It is about design too, guys. Um, and please don't send me, send me any more nasty messages. Um, or I will have to, um, of course, exclude you from all of these somehow. And uh, I wouldn't want that to happen. I am enjoying these. Um, but on that note, we're going to talk about what's going to happen going forward so the tournaments themselves have not been tremendously good for the channel and although i am not all about strictly just having the channel do well i'm not all about having lots and lots of subs i'm not all those things aren't my top priority however um i do feel like that i'm i'm missing playing a lot of the other games that i play in the channel and i'm spending a lot of time with these tournaments and they're not getting as many hits as some other things we're going to continue to do the tournaments but i think we're going to break them up even further to be about once a month and i don't know exactly when that's going to be next month but uh i think once a month is 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 pretty fair and because you know, I, I want to keep a nice, strong reassembly community on the channel because I, I love the game and I love all you guys. And as I get to know you guys better, it becomes more and more fun. And I, I think we, we kind of we, we're working really well at trying to figure out the game and and what we can do for the future. And especially once they start coming out with new tournament modes and stuff, it's going to be a blast. However, I just want to be sure that everybody is enjoying the channel and a lot of people that came to the channel for certain things are finding that those things aren't there anymore and i want to be sure that it's a, it's it's fun for everybody so i'm going to be splitting up the tournaments a little bit more i hope you guys understand and uh don't send me any more nasty messages about stuff that you know i can't control <laughs> whether or not it's going to be a fair fight or not and uh, i just want everybody to be able to participate and if somebody's winning you can't get mad at them because they won and even if even if they just uh put a block of ice in a Tupperware container and called that an assignment done, you can't be mad at them because you know what? Sometimes it's the simplest designs that are the best designs. And it's the bottom line is, did it win or did it not win? And sometimes the fights aren't as exciting, but there's still lots of exciting fights to be had here. And besides that, it's not all about winning either. And on that note, um, I would like to set up some prizes for the next tournament. They're going to be small. We're talking about uh, $1 games here and stuff. Um, and we'll have it for the final four competitors of all competitions, you know, and it, the prizes will be the same for everybody in the final four. Uh, that kind of thing. I haven't totally sorted out what that's going to look like yet, but uh, just to let you guys know. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep you any longer. I hope you enjoyed the uh, last of the Dreadnoughts. Uh, we still have the Physics Benders to do. Um, I'm probably going to hold off until next weekend again to do the Physics Benders. And then I will send out a schedule to everybody when we're going to do the next big tournament. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.